Welcome back to another Mike Guyver video. Thanks to your support, we got some attention from Orico. They sent us their one terabyte SSD hub to check out. But you're not here for a traditional review. You're here to see what's inside, maybe tear it down, and possibly mod it to run off-grid. Before we jump into performance, I took a quick look at what else Orico makes. And it's more than just this hub. They've got SSD enclosures, powered USB-C docks, multi-bay hard drive enclosures, and even sleek Mac mini accessories. If you're into portable workstations or minimalist setups, their ecosystem might actually surprise you. Now let's plug it in and run some quick speed tests. I want to see what this one terabyte SSD can really do. Not too bad. Now let's see how it compares to my NVMe SSD. It's about a third slower, but plenty of speed for content creators. And just for kicks, here is the score for the built-in Apple SSD. Here's a quick test with the external NVMe SSD connected to the hub's USB 3.0 port. Overall, it's a bit faster than the built-in 1TB SSD. Before we dive deeper, a quick shout out to this video sponsor, IPVanish VPN. Whether you're working off-grid, traveling, or just using public Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, your connection can be exposed. And that's where IPVanish steps in. It encrypts your internet traffic, hides your IP address, and keeps your data secure, no matter where you are in the world. I use VPN anytime I connect through hotspots or remote routers. It's fast, reliable, and lets me browse privately without slowing me down. You can even use it on any devices. So if you're into off-grid work, privacy, or travel, I highly recommend it. Hit the link in the description and save up to 83% and help support this channel while staying secure. All right, time to crack it open and see what we're working with. Okay, I think by now, I'd be just about finished drilling a hole in my Mac Mini for the DC power port.
Now I'll be honest, this unit was a pain to open. It's held together really tight and instead of screws, it has corner locking clips. So if you're planning to take yours apart, take your time. Wow, this was not easy, but here you go. The PCB is nicely laid out. It has a fan, but nothing really grabs my attention. Let's see what's underneath. Wait, this thing has an M.2 slot. Once I finally got to the bottom, this was unexpected. It's actually upgradable. Inside, there's an M.2 NVMe slot. So technically you could swap in a larger SSD if you wanted more storage down the line. That's a huge plus in my book, especially for tinkerers like us who want flexibility in the field. What do you think? Who won? My gloves or the Mini Mate? I removed the locking tabs so I can open this up again in the future to upgrade should I need it to. But the only drawback is now that we know it has a M.2 slot, it's limited by the hub, which is only 10 gigabits per second. For people like me, I'd like to be as fast as possible, which is why you notice that my external NVMe was faster since I am using a 40 gigabits per second enclosure.